Whoa. Whoa. Hey, everybody. Oh, that's not where I thought you were. Hey, Ted. What's going on, man? What? Hey, man. Okay. I'm confused. This needs some explanation here. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Chuckle Sandwich viewers. You, it's me, you Schlatt. You idiot. You idiot. What? You made the what? biggest mistake in, in chroma keying that you ever could. You waved what to me. What are you talking about? You waved to me. Ah, damn. Yeah, you, you waved me. to me. Show us where you are. Show us where all you are, right, you liar. All right, all right, all right. Audio fine. listeners love you to death. He was, he was, he was showing his old, his old YouTube background and was trying was to lying. trick me. I was Ted lying. Ted Nivison, I was lying. incorrect history of pizza and milk. Ted Nivison, as if he doesn't know a thing about green screen. Nice try. You want to know where I really am, Ted? I'd love are to. Are you know. sure? I'd love to know. You sure about this? Show me pebbles. Okay. All right. I'm at home with Jambo. Hey, there he Woo! is. Jambo, say hi to the camera. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh. Hey, bud. Schlatt, if an apocalypse were to hit our world, would you save Jambo or your family? Jambo. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Welcome everyone back to another episode of Chuckle Sandwich. Our schedule's been Say a little hi, bit Jambo. our schedule's been a little bit weird and the Chuckle Sandwich subreddit is exploding because of the the whether or not we did or did not in fact post a Markiplier episode. It definitely we happened. Did. It, definitely it definitely happened. Did happen. Jambo, um but say hi, but say nobody hi, talked Jambo. about death in it. So um but welcome back guys. We're here and we're ready to chat again. Hey Slack. I am. I'm I'm here right in front of my my all new setup at the Chuckle Sandwich Studios. Chuckle you know, Sandwich that Inc. The big green screen. This is where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. It's never actually going to change anymore. We've this got is a my final maker. resting place. <laughs> We've got yeah. a sandwich maker, a coffin for Schlatt when he inevitably dies, and an icy machine. We're really excited about yeah. the icy machine. It's got three flavors green apple, cherry, white cherry. What the hell and kind blue of icy raspberry. flavors? Are, that is four. That's four. No, no, and no, you no. Forgot no, no. about I said, the Coca Cola I, I one. I corrected myself. I said I said white. I said cherry, but then I was like white cherry specifically. You want the Coca Cola one? Yeah, I want the Coca Cola one. That's the best one. No, nobody likes the Coca Cola one. People like the idea of. The Ta you did one. not just say nobody likes the Coca Cola one. That's the most unhinged thing you've ever said on the podcast. I feel like that's an inaccurate statement, and also I'm right. No one, no one likes the Coca Cola icy. You just said. If you took anyone who says they like the Coca Cola one into an interrogation room and hit him in the knees a couple times, I bet I could get them to say that they don't like it in truth. Yes, because torturing people gets you to 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 hear exactly what you want. That's how torture works. No, Ted. it brings out. the I can't truth. believe you didn't know this. It does not bring out the truth. It's it like, brings out what you are looking for. It's a filter. If, if I busted, if I said. If I, Ted, if I said, if I showed, if I, and you know, and sometimes that's just how it is. Tucker, you, you guys know like there's got a, something to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was just looking at the icy flavors. There's a mermaid flavor. What? No one cares about the mermaid flavor, Hey, now Tucker. hold on. That's my friend. No one cares about the mermaid flavor. The Coca-Cola one and the red and the blue. You're telling those me. Those are the three no, classic on. ones, and they're the only ones that fucking matter. You're telling me that you, you, if you went into a store, you saw, or the movie theater, and you saw that they had the yes. mermaid flavor, your curiosity wouldn't peak a little bit. You wouldn't say, I'd try I'd like it, to but taste it's, the it's mermaid. So, it's so irrelevant. This mermaid flavor, like, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, it does not exist. Like it's not erotic. irrelevant. Erotic. Erotic. You want to expand on that one? It's a mermaid. You do. You do the math, fellas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, whatever the case. Nope. Tucker, do you like the, the Coca Cola flavor? I, uh, I don't really drink ices. I'm more of a slush puppy guy. Okay, that's, that's kind of the only one I indulge on. If I see a slush puppy, I get it, but because uh, they're kind of rare. They are a little bit rare. I, I, my journey started with the slush puppies, but it ended by, I like the, the aerated aspect of an icy. Well, I remember you were really into the blue ices because we Dude, used to go to the I movies. I am so, I'm, I still and, am. I still yeah. am. Yeah. And that food. What flavor is the blue one? Blue, blue raspberry. raspberry. Yeah. 
Oh, same flavor like as the your flavor cum. of my uh, yeah my cum drink that came mm-hmm. out. Same flavor as as Schlatt's goopy goopy good stuff. Schlatt's milk available now. Anyways, sorry. Enough paid. Enough paid advertising. Yeah, we've got something. We got a special topic for you guys here today. Uh, I you know we we made a post a community post where we asked for some good topics on what we could do for duo episodes with with our 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 good friend Tucker. Here. Also, just in case we have to cover this, but since we've covered it in the past, all you Tucker haters out there, Tucker, ha- fuck, fuck you, fuck, fuck you, you, Tucker haters. I love Tucker. Yeah. I would suck Tucker. Hey, all right. So Tucker, going off of Schlatt's statement there, you want to give us the rundown of what we're doing today? Yeah, so you hit me up. <coughs> you wanted to talk about apocalypse uh, survival situations today. And so right off the bat, I want to know which one of you guys thinks you could last longer in an apocalypse. So just say in a general <laughs> apocalypse. You just ended at last longer. I thought that was going to be what no, you no, ended no. with. What are, we, are we playing a game of soggy biscuit? <laughs> Ew. Okay. You guys can who, do that after who's we the, finish Who's recording. the winner? The, the win- Tucker, who's the winner in a game of soggy biscuit? Is it the one who comes first or the one who, who gets to eat the biscuit? Who gets that uh, yummy snack at the end? I don't think I get paid enough to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tucker, give us give us the rundown. All right, which I just want to know to start. Which one of you guys thinks you'd last longer in an apocalypse? Just some a generic end of the world scenario. Oh, all right, pinning us against each other. The fr- okay. Um, I mean, hmm, me. I don't think that's true at all. You live in the you live in the heart of pestilence, Ted. If anything goes down, you you people in Los Angeles are going to be the first to fall. You're going to fall into chaos. Okay, we can. Your house is go- your house will be blown up in the first thirty seconds okay. of of any of any bad event. Now going down. listen here, listen. It'll here. be looted. It'll be ransacked. It'll be pillaged. Your wife will be taken from you, and. Everything will will be will cease to exist. Me, on the other hand, I live in Austin, Texas, the best place in the world. Yeah, we live on a we live in a fucking desert around here. So I drive five minutes in any direction. I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no one even left. There's no water either. Everyone's going to be shooting. What are you each talking? Other. We live in a lake. Everyone's That's the only reason people are here is because there's a lake here. Everyone's going to be uh, shooting familiar. each other though in Austin. Although <laughs> you're basing your reasoning straight up off of off of where you live. Yeah. Now let's 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 do a little bit more digging here. Okay. Okay. We're both dropped in Fortnite style, same area. Okay. There's an apocalypse going on. Who's winning there? All right. We're we're given the same scenario. Now think about yourself, and think about me. Think about you know the bats I've swung. You. S- I would probably kill myself. Okay. I'm not even like whenever these whenever these <laughs> hypotheticals come up. I mean, I'm sorry this if this whole it, episode it, is us going to be I'm doing sorry if the whole episode apocalypse. <laughs> you're going to have to really get the whole you're going to have to have so, a little I'm bit gonna of I'm going to have hope. to be a little little more creative yeah. this time. Have a, but look, I'm telling you, in a in a real scenario where shit is about to go down. Okay. Like if I'm in Hawaii and that fucking message pops well, up, Hawaii is gone. Missile, we all there goes Hawaii. Hawaii is there gone. goes we Hawaii know is gone. The island is gone. But if like zombies broke out and I looked outside my window, whoop, and I look out and there's a bunch of zombies <laughs> running around like little mice out there, go look, like it's not even like. Not even the good zombies. Like they they're the ones that 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 are like oh the running ones. It's not the it's not the like the you know let me just prance around it's the sprinting the you know <laughs> 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 yeah they they're the ones that make the 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 noise <laughs> yeah that one that that is the sound bite if I hear <laughs> I'm killing I'm killing myself <laughs> I'm I'm dying yeah no that's uh <laughs> or the <laughs> Ted, your mic cuts off in Discord when you make loud noises. Well, so I, I just watched no, your mouth I, open and close. I, low, no, <laughs> I lowered the volume of my mic so it wouldn't just make my my microphone overmodulate. But yeah, no. I mean, you know, I gotta say, if zombies give me a zombie apocalypse, 
I might do pretty well. Give me a zombie apocalypse and give them the you voices. Won't, no, Why would you, you hold do on, well. hold on. Listen, listen to my listen to my comparison here because we'll get to zombie apocalypse later. But give me a zombie apocalypse. I'm feeling pretty well. That changes drastically if you give them all the voices as the, of the Nazi zombies because then there's like a fear factor there that is really like there's something about yeah. the one where the the Nazi zombie is hyperventilating that is like. If you hear that shit behind you when you're in a match, it's like you're, 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 you're like you're, it, give, it gives you like that that jitter in your ass where you're like, oh, fuck, get the hell me out of here. Like you when you're a little kid and you run up the, the stairs or door. something. Yeah, the the door's completely barricaded with wood, and every ten seconds you hear silence, <laughs> and it's like fuck, man. Every just a constant reminder that they're right outside. Lowest no, lowest suck. tier fear, um, Nazi zombie one. It's the one that where they go. Yeah, when, that, that one's one. not doesn't get me afraid at I'd all. Slice but him. to go back to the topic that we were talking about, if we get thrown into the same zone, are you don't stick with I'm gonna kill myself. That's like I'm going or, to kill myself though. That's that is the that is the apocalypse answer equivalent of oh I just wish for more wishes if I got a genie. Fuck you. No, it's not. One is one is opening up the door to endless possibility, and the other is killing yourself and closing the door. On everything you know and love. To be fair, Ted, if if shit hits the fan that hard, I don't want to stick around to see that shit. Okay, let's just pretend for the sake of this podcast that you do. You want to try that? Do you understand the topic I'm gonna of kill this podcast? Myself. Do you understand? If the zombies, if the zombies pop up, if zombies God. nuke in my area, I'm I'm dying. I, let's not pretend like you're the fucking hero and they're going to load you and me into the battle bus like that's a fucking thing. <laughs> and then we're going to parachute down into zombie land well, we could. and both try and survive. No, we couldn't. Hypothetically. We would be. We, there's no such. There's no reason to do a hypothetical on this because in a zombie apocalypse, there's an. You are, you are like the luckiest man in the world. Like a one in hundreds of millions of of people chance of you surviving and it's just not worth it because even if you do survive your life is going to be so shit and miserable you're going to lose everybody you love you're not going to have me anymore because the internet's not going to work and we can't talk because you're in los angeles you're gonna, and i'm in austin you have the current imagination right now as when you show a parent a meme and they ask who is that who made that that's the amount of maneuverability your mind is having right now. You I'm think just that it being only realistic, <laughs> Ted. I pay taxes now, okay? You won't if there's an apocalypse. Boom. Easy That's option true. there. No you know income what? In tax. In that scenario? No state state tax. No property taxes. You could have any property you want. Do you not understand how, how big of a house you could have if the apocalypse hit? That is that is pretty and you, you shot a gun before. You shot a flamethrower before. And you know exactly where to go if if an apocalypse happened. So have you shot? Oh, I've shot. You shot? I, I, yes, I've shot. Maybe I've we sh maybe we would be a dream team, Ted. I don't think any. I don't think either of us have to die. Okay, so maybe this. Maybe the fact that Tucker pitted pitted us against each other at the beginning was just his devious plan to get us killed, so he yeah, can man. he can start his little apocalypse empire. So we're joining together. That's the answer here. Yeah, we're we're joining together, and we're we're buying up a bunch of rental properties <laughs> well, on the cheap yeah and, and we're doing well, airbnb arbitrage well first thing we're doing is we're going to a to a rite aid and getting you some antidepressants that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> uh and maybe some viagra too yeah yeah so you can and and we're looking for the ones that go not four hours but eight hours it'd be a crazy time to be a, a necrophiliac god you know you know what's crazy? I wasn't thinking about that at all. I wasn't thinking about that one second of, of man, yeah. zombie apocalypse, great time to be fucking dead bodies. I don't think that it would be. Um, no, it would be, because they'd be alive, technically. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Put that in your pipe and, and suck on it yeah, a little bit, you know? Yeah. Give it a little puff. I don't think I want to. I think uh, I think that it's uh, not something, not even an option I want to observe. <laughs> More for me. But I think we would do pretty well. If you shot a gun, you know how to shoot a gun. I know how to shoot a gun. You understand? There's a lot of people who don't know how to do that thing, and they're end up going to shoot. They're going to shoot themselves in the foot. They're going to shoot themselves in the in the leg. They're going to shoot their friend or something. You know, I I think yeah. we, I think we'd do great. I think most of the country knows how to shoot guns, though. I think that's what we're forgetting because while you may be in your little bubble. Everybody in Texas walks around in fucking camouflage. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah. a that's a that's a good point. That's a good point. You go to although, the ranch. You know although, that place. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. A lot of people on Rodeo Drive are walking around in camouflage, except it's just Balenciaga. They'll be the first ones to go. Yeah, they probably They'll be will the first be, ones. Dude. You want to know the stupidest fucking thing in the world? Did you see that show Balenciaga? Balenciaga. Did you see the show they put on? No, I in, didn't. In mud. Balenciaga in mud. Yeah, they put they put on a a, a fashion runway show. Oh in mud. yeah, they no, had all I their did. people trudging through mud. Was like it fucking that was walkers. like the that was like the wind tunnel, wasn't it? I don't know if I, it, that, that was probably something else. I saw there's they're doing weird shit with fashion shows now because I saw one where they just put them in a like. <laughs> I feel so bad for these models that have to do this, where it's like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna it's gonna be the most prestigious fashion show yeah you're gonna you're gonna sift through mud and shit and have to fight a tiger <laughs> and that's how we're gonna exactly. be showing off our fall 2020 line or something like god anything to get the headlines because we all know they changed their logo to fucking ariel yeah yeah that's true we've <sighs> actually you know i don't know if you've been paying attention to the chuckle sandwich subreddit but you know there's a ver there's a pretty good there's a pretty good redesign of the chuckle sandwich logo in there scott throw it up on the screen I saw it. It was fantastic. It was it simplified. You know what? It was it was such an intellectual, smart redesign that added so much character to the brand. You uh, you know? I don't know if you believe that truly. It's are you sure? Because it made they they turned the sandwich to look like it was one of those menu bars on an app. That's what the sandwich yeah. looks like now. It's, no, it's it was that. so genius. It was so genius. And and before we go into the apocalypse, I just wanted to mention something that I wish that you had talked about in your video, by the way. Yeah. Do, do you know those, the type of illustrations that companies do? Where it's like those really spherical looking people doing stuff like they're, oh, they're putting something on a wall or it's like, it's like, and they're spherical and they're made of, they're made of circles and stuff. I don't know what the style is called, but it's very like corporate centric. Corporate you, minimalism. Corporate minimalism. You, I, corporate I wish you talked about that a little bit. Can you, uh, you show that, me Tucker. an example? Uh, and it, yeah, I think, I think Tucker could probably find an example and throw it in the chat, but it's like, you you see it you see it a lot of times like if you look at the at, uh, you know the YouTube newsletters or something you'll probably see it in there where it's like Ted that's all I that's that was literally a huge part of my video did you watch my video I talked I talked about these people for like three minutes straight well at what point in the video like ten minutes in okay I got fifteen minutes in and I haven't watched the rest that's bullshit that's bullshit I talked about them in the video Ted. What people? Tucker, the image you just sent was in the video. <laughs> okay. It was I'm, in it. I'm getting, I'm getting, I, I may have, I may have exposed myself a little bit. I did. When, you didn't watch it. You didn't I watch did. my video, Ted. I did watch it. I watched it. all your, your Rainforest Cafe video was so long and I watched all of it. I and watched you didn't wa it. And I watched it. Okay. Th this was the central point. You know point. I've been having a tough this week. This was the central you know. point of the video. You know. I put, I put my own music, no, my own orchestra music that I recorded it, during that moment, maybe you and just, I scream hey, my head hey, off. Maybe you just thought you put those guys in. Maybe you thought that you talked about them, and you actually didn't. No, no, maybe no, it was no, in the no, script, no, no, and you no, forgot no, to no, record no. that part. Do you ever think about that? Ted? You ever think no, about that? It was no, and you. Because I remember you watching. Something? I definitely watched that video, and I definitely did not see. Hey, get out of there! Get out of there! Okay, that's not the fuck you. Get out of there! Fuck you! Get out of there! I'm that's home the, now. I'm home. That's the I'm J back in New York. No, that's the J. That's the J. Schlatt that does that does fucking. Pavlov videos, okay? That's not the that's not the TikTok reaction, Jay Schlack. Like, give me give me TikTok reaction, Jay Schlack. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a dating show. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a dating show, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna put hearts around hearts around me with a thumbnail. Yeah, and the emojis, <laughs> that video, and the those emojis videos did too. Very well, though. Um, yeah, Ted. No, that's okay. It, that's I did. It, that, how do you not know? Like, what? Why? I'm okay, telling you right what now. What goes I, through your I'll, Ted? What goes through your head to say to me after just posting? I just posted a long ass commentary video on the t on the topic of corporate logos. What went through your head to not watch the whole video <laughs> and then tell me on my <laughs> podcast you should have <laughs> talked about this in the video? Okay. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. I will say this week has been a little busy for me. I have intended to finish the video. I I Went and I picked up some sprout sandwiches with Shay, and I was dropping her off. And I sat down. We were eating those sandwiches, and I said, 
Oh, and I was like, this is a great time to watch the last video. So I turn on your video, I put it up there, and Shay and I were eating the sandwiches and watching you talk, okay? Okay. But that meal lasted for 15 minutes. I get it. I get it. And how long Just is that say video? You're a bad like, friend. Like Just say you're minutes? a bad friend. It's okay. Just say you're a bad friend. I'll ne I'm I don't think I'm a bad friend. <laughs> say it. I'm no, offended. I don't it. think I'm a bad friend. I'm a, I, I'm offended. I'm offended. I'm offended. I'll finish. I would, Ted, I would not. That's like if I watched your Rainforest Cafe video for two minutes and said, Ted, I really wish you went to all the Rainforest Cafes. <laughs> <laughs> you really no, should have done that. That no, would have been a great it's video. it's not. It's, I don't, no, it's not. It's like, it's, uh, yeah. No, yeah, you know no, what it is. I got you. you know what it is. I got it's you. like it's like uh, it's like you said. It's like you watched two minutes of my Rainforest Cafe video and said, "Ted, you missed some." <laughs> <laughs> or like, dude, you should have got the cups. You should have got the cups oh, from yeah, every Rainforest <laughs> Cafe. You know. Okay. And you know what? This is why maybe I'm going to last a little longer in the apocalypse this, because I pay attention. Let this be my formal apology. Okay, Thank I you. am a Thank victim you. of the day and age. And, you know, I, as I've said, I'm trying to finish that Halloween video and it's, it's taken up my soul. It's taken no, up I my soul, it. but you I know, you can watch 50% of that video and I will never expect you to watch any more <laughs> of it. And that can be, but I will, I will watch the rest of your video though, because I do like it Thank when you, you do commentary stuff. Um, it was good. I, I enjoyed making that video and I'll probably do more because it did very well. You should. It did very well. Dude, What's and you want to know why? What's it at now? It, it's it's a four out of ten, and uh, it's doing better than some of the some of the reaction videos. You're gonna be and pissed because mine's a three out of ten, bitch. I'm oh. sorry, that, that was rude. I don't know why I said that. But <laughs> the awesome thing about it is that it was just I just have to make longer videos. That's what it comes down to. That's what I've realized. You know, right. there. I, I think anyone who's watched my last two videos on my channel, the the music video, and now this logo vid. They were about the same quality. Like, I think they were both good videos. Yeah. But one of them is dead in the water because it was 10 minutes long, yeah. and the other is doing great because it was 20. And that's just how my channel works, and that's the way the And that's what, the way the, the schlatt cum drips. Yeah. You want to know something I just realized, by the way? What? You have put yourself in a very curious position for this podcast because at any point, I could just request that Scott put something behind you. Anything. I could just say, Scott, what the hell is... Uh... No, I put it back. Put it back. No, no. I'm glad you told me that because I will be back in New York the rest of this, yeah. this episode. Scott, I'm, turn use, I'm turning off the green Scott, screen. Scott, use previous footage right now and overlay it on the podcast of, of, of Schlatt in a, a room with a bunch of hot shirtless men. There is nothing wrong with that, Ted. And you know what? I would be honored. If Scott edited those men behind me. Now put Schlatt in a room. You can't win. You can't win here. I was going to say something along the lines of like doing active terrorism or something, but I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Scott, Scott, listen, man, don't put that. Don't, don't put me in that. Okay. Okay. Um, so. What were we going to talk about today? Yeah, we got a little off track, didn't we? Surviving the apocalypse, which yeah. I I think I've realized that I will do more effectively than you because you cannot pay attention to things. I can. And and second of all, I am very fast. I can run. I can jump. I did a little bit of parkour when I was younger. A little bit. A little bit. Tucker's, what do you got to say, Tucker? Tell me what you got to say. I don't know. who are, Who the hell are you doing parkour with? I did it at teamwork. As it, it sure as hell wasn't me, dude. It was. A, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was. Hey a, Tucker, it, it you want to go do parkour? It was a park. It was a parkour class at Teamworks. Okay, I did that for a you little took bit. A class? Yeah. How it was old like were they you? Do it. Oh, I don't fucking know. I can barely remember how old I was when I did anything. Minimum was eleven, which is already too old. What? Charlie does. Charlie does fucking parkour, and he's good at it too. Did did he doesn't anymore? Well, oh, yeah, yeah. We should stop. You, I mean, we should stop using present tense. You're right for him. Well, it yeah. still it, feel, it just still feels like I can it, hear I, him. It's very fresh. Yeah, it's it's yeah. fresh on the on the on the Fuck. mind. I I understand. All right. But, well, yeah. let's. I don't know. Let's let's go to something more more positive. Like I don't know the apocalypse. Tucker, uh, sure. 
what do you, what do you what, give us something here? What do you got? I mean, okay. I feel like I've been asking you for long, but it's like, what are you, what are you waiting. eating? What's your go-to food? What's my go-to food for the apocalypse? The apocalypse? Yeah. The world's out. You can't cans. go to the grocery store. Cans. Cans. cans metal. You're going to eat metal cans. You idiot. You use the no, wrong you words. You fucking idiot. You cans fool. of food. You fool. I'd what do you mean? You what do you mean? Metal? I didn't use the wrong words. You can't eat metal. You should have said keep canned cans of food. Oh my god! Who the fuck makes that? Who even cares? No one even cares. The Ted. phrase is "What is canned food?" You dumbass. Oh my god! I would have cans of food. What type? That of food? Th- that. I would. I would do the Mung spaghettios beans? pro. No. <laughs> I would do the spaghettios probably the kids the kid canned food because those are the most delicious well, ones. You can't. I'm gonna say this. You can't say I would because you if you don't have if the apocalypse kicks off as we're talking about it, you don't have the spaghettios. That's true. Wait, and where are you okay. gonna get them? Like this is. So I've like, got I've got no a lot prep. of gamer sups and a couple sticks of gum <laughs> and maybe some hot pockets. <laughs> I've got some canned food at my place. I've got some red kidney beans. I've got some black beans. I have a lot of beans. I have some. Uh, I have some chicken stock. I've got some beef stock. Wait, are you a prepper? No, I'm not. I just have I I I I have this cookbook that lets you. It says to buy a bunch of stuff for your pantry. And then uh-huh. you can, and then you look in the cookbook, and all those stuff that you bought in your pantry, you could make different recipes based on all of those things. So I don't have to like keep. Oh, that's actually, the yeah, that's actually really smart. Yeah, it's I a like it's that. a New York Times book called the No Recipe Recipe Book. It's hmm. good. Yeah, yeah. There was this really I good. I don't have anything and, and like that. Speaking fully candidly, there's this really good recipe that I, that that Shay likes for me to make, which is it's and it's going to sound ridiculous at first, but it's savory French toast. It sounds weird, but it's like it's like uh, black pepper and hot sauce and uh, and it, it it uses uh fucking cherry tomatoes and stuff. It's like really Ooh. fucking good. Next time, next time you're in LA, I'll make it for you, and I think you'll I think you'll get a, you'll like it. You'll get a kick out of it. So, okay, but we'll definitely not have that in the apocalypse. So no, you won't have gas. You won't have electricity. Like you can't really heat anything up. So canned food is really your best bet. Well, you can heat up. You can you can heat stuff up though. You can make a fire. I, like we I know guess. about fire though. Yeah, we do know about fire. But like, where are you going to make a fire? I think that mm, where where are you going to make yeah where are you going to make one, dude? It's going to be like one of those things where there's going to be so many just metal barrels. <laughs> they don't just appear, man. <laughs> But it's like it'll be like a video Where game. Where are you getting one like, from? Like, do you understand how many metal barrels are in these apocalypse video games? And we're it's gonna be like one of those things in like I don't know Half Life or something or 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 uh, or The Last of Us where it's like there's metal barrels. You put a bunch of random wood pieces in there, and then you wear the gloves, the fingerless gloves, and then you're right. like, yeah. and then you're like warming up your hands over that. That's gonna be that's gonna be me in the apocalypse. At least. But you gotta watch out because. The red barrels will also appear. Well, explode and if you those shoot are them, those yeah. explode. <laughs> those explode if you shoot them. You have to be careful about those. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I might try to collect red barrels, and then maybe my ideal apocalypse base would be like a Donkey Kong setup. So if anyone wanted to raid me, I would be able to throw barrels down like a bunch of ramps to hit them. Oh, that's smart. But you would never have you know, that. The way that you just said that, you responded, it was like it was like how um how a normal person responds to a really, really stupid person when they don't want to tell them that they're that they're wrong. That's a very interesting thought. However, where are you gonna make this ramp setup? Where where is any of this plan coming to fruition? I'll tell you one thing about LA. The downtown area of LA, nobody goes there. Except for like, there's a lot of like crazy people in the downtown area of LA. So I'm going to go uh-huh. down there. I'm going to recruit all of them. And we're going to make like one of those fucking Borderlands 3 psycho gangs. And we're going to make a bunch of ramps between the skyscrapers. You're going to make ramps in LA? Yeah. Ramps. To throw red barrels at people. I don't understand Take what the confusion is here. No, I'm, I've taken how lots of seconds. No, I've is. thought about this in the past. This is a fucking crack job haven't. I did. I have. I have. You haven't. Tucker, Tucker, tell him there's not going to be any red barrels in the apocalypse. No that doesn't happen. Said. 
What? And there's no ramps. There's have no ramps. Have you ever seen a red barrel in real life? I have seen a red <laughs> barrel in real life. Are you kidding me? Okay, they I, don't I, I exist. understand. Okay, I understand you taking out explosive barrels from the equation, but don't try to tell me that there aren't explosive barrels. I mean, well, there aren't. Don't they try to tell. Exist. Well, well. Furthermore, don't try to tell me that there aren't red barrels at a at a base level. There are barrels that are red. Red barrels don't exist, Ted. Tucker, you better be looking up if red barrels exist right now, because if the if, if, I, if I don't need to, that they don't exist. What are you red talking about? Red barrels don't exist, and I'm tired of. Tell me the last time do. you saw one. The last time I saw a red. The last barrel? time you saw a red barrel. Um, when I was a kid, and I had one of those juice oh, cups that was a red barrel. Go. Here we go. The red barrel juice cup thing. The closest thing you've ever gotten to a red barrel is a red solo cup. It's true. It's true, and you know it is because red barrels aren't real. Okay, so you know what? Like, I am just listen. At least, at least I'm trying to build a life for myself in the apocalypse, and I'm not just fucking killing myself. You're gonna die in the apocalypse. That's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is if shit hits the fan, Jambo, stop, Jambo, Jambo. Oh my god! You deserved it. I mean, trying to tell me red barrels aren't a good idea. Tell me ramps are a good idea. Do you understand how good ramps are? Ramps, I listen. I'm with you all the way on the ramp shit. If we can make ramps, ramps, what are you talking about? Like, what you're 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 responding like it like there's some sort of controversial. It's not a con. Ramps are not a controversial. Theodore never said they're accessible. When what? What do you mean they're accessible for wheelchairs? When was the last time you saw a ramp big enough to do anything fun with it? Um, And you can't just move them around either. Usually they're built into places. Okay, riddle me this: two words. Okay, or one letter and then one. Word X Games, uh-huh. lot of ramps, lot of where are the X Games? The where are the X Games? I don't know. Maybe yeah. a, probably a different place every year. I don't know where they are. So where are you getting the ramps from? Where will you get ramps? You could. I can build the ramps. No, <laughs> you can build the ramps. You, you, you are gonna build the ramps. You're gonna build. You're gonna build. Uh, you, you are gonna build ramps. What, what, yeah. You are going to build it in the zombie apocalypse. You will hunker down and begin the production of ramps. Yes. What are you going to make a little production line? You're going to hire people for $5 a day? A little Henry Ford egg? You're going to make, yeah. make ramps? Yeah, I am. And, and then what I'm are you going to do with them? Well, I could also. I could also use zombie power to make the ramps even faster. So, zombie power? Yes. What, you going to put them on a little hamster wheel? Uh, kind of, yeah. How do you do that? Well, you put it. You take a. You take a bunch of zombies and you make them. And and you put a piece of meat in front of them and you make them constantly turn one of those fucking wheels. You know. Oh, you make them spin the wheels with their arms. Yeah. The zombies. No, 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 no. They're 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 chained up to one of these fucking gear things. You know those things they push kind of like a like a. They do that in like the olden times on a mill or something like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you chain you, chain you get up there, close enough to a zombie to, to you get close enough to a zombie to chain him up well i've got and you do this multiple times i'm doing that no i've got a team doing this with me i've got the la oh, you've got the goon oh so you send them the goons you send in the henchmen to, mm-hmm. to get the zombies chained up yeah and then you put them on wheels akin to medieval times that generates zombie power. dude that's how you win the apocalypse zombie through zombie power what are you talking about Ted, i'm telling you right now and i i'm a hundred percent honest with you uh this is coming if, from the guy that said that he wanted to standard, play with the zombies that would be so fun. We'll go back to that. We'll but go back to you're that. You're making it seem like you put a we'll glove. Go back to that. Were... We'll go back to that. We'll go back to that. But if when the apocalypse happens, Ted, there are people who begin harvesting the power of zombies by attaching them to medieval wheels that they build and then start making ramps and shit. I'm glad I'm not. I'm, I took myself out of the equation. I don't want to live in this world where 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 we where we get our 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 fucking nuts off on trapping zombies in wheels and dangling little pieces of meat in front of them. It doesn't sound fun to me. Dude. And then they all they're all running on the wheels. Sam, terrible. Yeah, and they're saying sail because the next step after ramps is to start building sails. Like for ships, you are you are sick. You are sick in I'm the not head and sick. twisted. I'm not. You're sick in the head and twisted. What is so sick and twisted about wanting to build a couple of ramps? Okay, because rats go on ships. If that's your final thing, you don't think the rats are going to be carrying the disease with them? 
I feel like the biggest thing carrying the disease right now are the zombies. But that's just me. Come on, man. Get your head in the game. Don't fucking. I would rather. Don't say that shit to me, Zac Efron. Okay? I've got my head in the game. It's in the I would rather. Ted, I would rather do a little playing with the zombies and then die. Then a little try and do this. Try and set up set up a fucking trading company with ramps and zombie power and all this shit. Seems like such so much work for what? And then you'll probably just get bit anyways and then die. And then all the work goes goes to goes to shit. Let me do a little playing with my zombies, and then I'll have my fun, and then I'll die. Well, think about this. Think about this. A lot of the highways, they're gonna start all the you know those how they do those overpasses, they'll start kind of falling down and shit. Yeah. A lot of these roaming bandit gangs are going to be in the market for some fucking ramps, dude. I'm not They're saying gonna they are in the market for ramps. But now, and but you know now what comes after ramps? Deal- what? Bridges. Ted, you're not building bridges. I'm, you're not going to build I'm them. I'm trying to. And you know what? Now you now you're in some I'm, breaking bad shit where you have to where you're this no, clean we're not cut YouTuber math. who has to do making... business, who has to do business with bandits? You're going to get torn up. You're going to get eaten. You're going to get shot on your first transaction. Well, and here I am in my house in my bunker hunkered in, hunkered in playing with my zombies for a little bit and then shooting myself. Because imagine another thing that just came into my head. Imagine if you're walking down the street or like trying to survive and then you just look and there's a zombie over there and it's Schlatt. <laughs> that would suck. They're like, oh, fuck, that's the that's Jay Schlatt. That would suck. And you, and you know what? And you know what? We'd capture that zombie previously known as Schlatt and he's going to be at the front of the line on the, no, on the wheel, no. turning no. the gears that I'm is powering the fucking Henry that. Ford ramp company. Okay. Nope. No. And I, that's why I'm through the brain. You get everything gone. Tucker, nothing to Tucker, be infected. Can you still you're turn into a be... zombie after you've killed yourself? Yeah. I think if you shoot yourself in the head, you're out. I yeah. You can. I think that's yeah. the general rule of thumb. Yeah. But if he, you know, you're if he, out of the game. If he just bled out, then zombie schlets in it. Yeah. Ted, the whole time you're talking about this, it sounds like you are basically playing Nazi zombies. And you know, you're building a, a big wheel that you can turn <laughs> on when you get enough points. And then you're building a ramp you can slide down to like. Well, it all ends the in the teleporter, dude, because I'm going to the moon. I'm going to the moon, and I'm going to be putting ramps on the moon. You're not going to the moon, Ted. You're right. You know, I'm not going to the moon. More I'm realistic, building what's ramps. more realistic? You you're need going to, like, to the okay. top of Alcatraz, you're building a plane, and you're landing on the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Be okay. a little more realistic. I, that plane's going to crash. Can you just hear me out for a second? Because I really want to get my point across, and I feel like I have okay. really good, and I and I want to be heard here okay. on the Chuckle Sandwich you've, Podcast. Okay? You've got the floor. I will t- make my ramps, okay? It's going to start as me a small business at first, okay? I'm going to get all the bare essentials first before this ramp shit starts. But first thing I do is I start trading with the peaceful gangs, the peaceful folks, you know, the fucking, I don't know, walking dead guys that are, like, nice. Yeah. And I'm going to make some money off the ramps. Then I've got like such a good amount of like trading bartering stuff. I'm bringing in some of the tough guys. Some of these guys that shoot. I got a sniper. I got one of those crazy dudes that likes to use explosives. I got fucking like I've got all the people. I got a person that has medicine. I've even got a tax guy for fucking bartering with other like gang things. Then. All right. Next step. I go and I start interacting with the tough gangs the the ones that are like the crazies and stuff because they're the ones that are operating in the most dilapidated parts of the city they're the ones that are near the fucking overpasses that's my biggest market gap i'm gonna go to them and say hey check out these ramps you guys can get in your little mad max cars and you can drive over these open things and then i'm gonna sell ramps to them until they don't need any more ramps and then i'm gonna introduce to them the idea of bridges okay and then they're in the market again Mm -mm. no you're just not going to, that's not going to happen. It starts it's with not. ramps. It ends in cure. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't end in cure. You're not going I'm to I'm just cure telling you about apocalypse. one step one and two of like 5,000 steps here. Okay. No, it just no. starts with the ramps. No. Why don't you believe me? This is really hurtful because it's just, it's just not realistic. You know, what is unrealistic about Here's what's going to happen, Ted. Here's what's going to happen, Ted. 
We're going to be filming an episode of Chuckle Sandwich. A ramp is when, a right when triangle. What is what is confusing about when that? When the zombie apocalypse breaks out, you're going to be sat right there in your dumbass Herman Miller. And a zombie is going to bust through that door, maybe two of them. They're going to bust it down. Both of the doors are going to be dead. And you are, you are going to be stormed by zombies who will tear you limb from limb as I'm watching. And I'll get the footage and I'll upload it and we'll have our last laugh. But you'll be gone. And you'll be gone. Because you live in Los Angeles the heart of pestilence and de and death and decay. And there are how many fucking people there? And you have no way to defend yourself. All right, yourself. asshole, check the, this out. The, the biggest piece of defense you have is a fucking Ortho plastic knife. home defense. This that shit is for kills bugs. ants like nobody's business, That's for all right? Bugs. A That's zombie comes and you know in, what? I go and like you know this. What? I go like this. That I go, won't get him. I go, that boom, won't get him. Boom, 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 That's boom. for ants. That's for ants. And you know what? You want to know something fucked up? The fact that you have that a foot away from you is just ex proves exactly what I'm saying. That LA is a shithole that is the heart of pestilence in this country. I actually have it. You are going to be stormed by zombies the second that shit breaks out because there's 20 million people packed like sardines in a tin fucking can in that city. And you're going to die. Me? That notification comes on my phone. I'm getting in my fucking race car. I'm driving five minutes that way, and then I don't see anybody for 10 years. And I live on my gamer sups titty milk, and I live on my fucking Hornell completes, and I live on my SpaghettiOs that I looted. Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? Are you calm down now, asshole? No. All right, keep going. Keep going. I got a bone to pick. You no, got, you I got, just more? got a bone to pick that you have this this large this this grandiose idea of how you're going to rebuild Los Angeles after the zombie apocalypse happens. Where you are you moving to a different? We are you going to take your business elsewhere? Or are you so concerned with the citizenry of Los Angeles, which will be the most dangerous place on the planet once the zombie apocalypse happens? Don't look at me like I'm wrong. You're going to be at the heart of all danger. All danger will be there. Are you going to be Mr. Danger? You're going to buy into that lifestyle? You'll get shot on your first business transaction trying to sell fucking ramp. Jambo, get over here. I'm so pissed. Jambo, get over here. Jambo, get over here. Jambo. Listen, Tucker, what? I want your opinion on my ramps idea because I feel like mm -hmm. it's pretty strong, but I think that, you know, there's, there's sort of, I feel like Schlatt's opinion is getting maybe uh, affected by his hatred for Los Angeles. Yeah, Schlatt's getting a little bit red, so we can, we can take a break from that. Your ramps are good. The ramps are good, especially if you're going to train zombies. And if you're gonna, like, you're not going to make it to a very high round if you're not training. Yeah. So the ramps are good. You need wheels. You need ramps. You need barrels. Tucker, you were nodding. You were nodding along with me oh, during well. my whole spiel, and now you flip flopped like a little bitch. I, I just wanted to see how red I could get you. <laughs> Stand up for what you truly believe in. I know it's. De I know. I know who you are. I know who okay. you are, I Tucker. Know, I know where Ted lives. Ted's not lasting five minutes. What no. are you talking about? It's it's Los Angeles, Ted. You know it is. Yeah, but they got bird Ted. scooters here. It's not an apocalypse, and every business in your neighborhood has gated windows. Imagine once shit hits the fan. Honestly, that sets us up pretty well, does it not? Well, it just says, it kind of shows the mental state of the community right now. Yeah. And just imagine once, you know, the chain. Tensions are off. high. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what, though. If I can. If I see the signs, if I see the signs, because I feel like I've seen enough zombie stuff to know when if, it's like. If, no, no, no. I, you can't use that. Because if you think that you're seeing the signs, imagine the people that already prep when nothing's going on. Yeah. Through. Those fuckers think, are the dude, only people who are going to be ready. And you know what? 99% of them are going to perish the first minute, too. There was a COVID hit, which was a flu variant. And there wasn't a roll of toilet paper or a bullet on a shelf for months. And you're yeah. telling me, oh, I see a couple zombies. You know, I think I might start gathering some supplies. 
<laughs> no, it's, it's too late, dude. <laughs> yeah. I do feel like the ramp idea is pretty solid, though, because people are going to need ramps dude, to get over Dude, fuck those. off with the ramps. Dude, people you are going to need ramps to get over the ramps. holes in the overpass. What are you talking about? I, well, I, I don't understand this why you guys very, are acting like the, I'm crazy here. Ted, this is, again, this is a product in your environment. L.A. is the only place where that's going to be even necessary. I, don't, I, don't know, I can't remember the last the time I only, saw a ramp in only, L.A., okay? The L.A. Only, needs the, ramps. The Exactly. The only situation in which a ramp will be uh, necessary in a place like Texas is if you want to do a really cool stunt. And people will not be concerned about that. And that's why the, the ramps apocalypse. are going to be so good in the apocalypse because what are people going to be looking for after we've exited an age of cell phones and YouTube and shit? They're going to need some recreation. And ramps are like, <laughs> they're going to create rec recreation, you know? Put a bunch of zombies in a pit, light them on fire, watch their skin melt, Drive a fucking Mad Max car over that. Yeah, fires are illegal to start in L.A. And yeah, and there's a burn Not ban in, in the Austin. apocalypse. Sorry, there's dude. a burn ban here Lazo too. Up. It it's it's pretty dry, and uh, they're not. You know, you can't even do fireworks. Like that's the right one now. agency that's still that's still afloat after the government <laughs> collapse. Uh, it's the apocalypse. One. It's like chaos, and there's some like overweight cop in the corner, like, "Hey, put that out." <laughs> Some guy with a clipboard that just shows up in a fucking black hawk and he's like and he's like, you know, put that fire out, put that fire out right now. And someone gets stuck eating by a zombie. All right, boys, we've taken care of it. Let's get out of here. All right. Also, we extended the tax deadline to to ju July, you know. Imagine imagine if it was like imagine if it was like all oh, the whole government falls apart, but the only people that fucking survive are those census guys that come to your door. Ooh. Like even the, ten the years into the six thousand, the eighty six thousand IRS oh, oh, yeah, agents, the IRS just, people. <laughs> yeah. There'll be one letters. of them left. Yeah, it's they're gonna be the last thing to fall because they're gonna need money when there's zombies to kill. Tucker, um, what were the other? Do we have other apocalypse scenarios that we wanted to go over though? Because I, because we did talk at length about, um, we did talk at length about the zombie apocalypse and the last time we talked about apocalypses. But is there other ones that we can talk about? Oh, well, there's other ones. I mean, you guys could tackle the 2012 debacle. Let's say, like... What was the 2012 debacle again? It, basically, the Earth, like, you know, Yellowstone super volcano goes off, and uh, everything starts flooding. I don't really know why it's flooding. I think something to do with the crust. Moving it, no, it's because, it's because the Mayans ran out of space on their calendar. I remember that day very vividly. It was December 21st, 2012. That was when the world was supposed to end because the Mayan calendar ended. And the Mayan calendar was like predicted like moon phases for a thousand years. Yeah, and people yeah. were like, why did it end? Yeah. Meanwhile, they just ran out of room. Like how big were they supposed to make the calendar? Yeah. I, I just remember though, because I'm sure that movie they, I'm sure they were like, I'm sure they were like, oh yeah, when we get there, we'll just make a new one. Yeah. That's yeah, probably we'll what they make were another thinking. Calendar. <laughs> we'll it's kind of like when you buy a calendar, one. it's like, oh yeah, when the year ends, I'll buy an additional calendar. It's not like you think that when you buy a calendar and then, and you see that it ends at the end of the year, you're like, what the fuck's gonna happen to me when it hits that date? <laughs> exactly, man. I just remember being really scared though, and I yeah, was no, like, it Dude. felt legit. It did feel legit. That as a twelve year old. That, that you and know? Coney were like the biggest things in our lives that year. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Coney 2012, 2012 yeah. I was the biggest proponent of getting Coney off the streets. <laughs> yeah. I wanted, I, and Ted, I'm being honest, I wanted to do something about Coney. You, I wanted him out. You wanted to, you wanted to battle bus into, where was he? He was in Africa. He was, he was in, in the Africa. continent Uganda. of Africa. What, what in, yeah, what country? Uganda. Um, Uganda. Wow. I don't even um, know what Coney is. <laughs> You don't know what Coney 2012 is, man? Did you Dude, just I look was, it up? Surely you looked yeah. it up. You're the, uh, you're yeah, supposed to be the information now, guy. But, this well, was no, the biggest phenomenon. I was too busy explain it for, playing. Explain it to, could you explain it to people that were born in like 2008 that are listening to the podcast right now? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Coney 2012 was a video uploaded to YouTube that was uh, about a guy who, I don't know if he had any relation to what was going on. He was just some white guy in California making a documentary about how this dude joseph coney is going around and fucking people up and training child soldiers yeah i thought that was really fucked up um and so i 
Shit like that's definitely still happening too, which makes it yeah. weird oh, that yeah. we're like that oh, yeah. like we just haven't cared in the last ten years about anything like that. No. Well, you know what happened? The guy who made that video, he got caught jerking off in public a week later. So uh you know. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. That's why the that's why the, the whole movement kind of fizzled. <laughs> <laughs> You got Tucker laughing really fucking yeah, hard. Fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> a week later, like he's just viciously just jerking his ween in Times Square. And everyone like was like, no, fuck those kids. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> that, that dude touched himself in front of in front of a grandma. <laughs> oh man. That's awesome. That's really funny. I wish that that was actually the truth. I, I wish that was reality. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is one way to celebrate having the most viral video ever. Jason Russell, a co-founder of Invisible Children, the group behind the Coney 2012 campaign, was reportedly arrested last night after he was found masturbating in public, vandalizing cars, <laughs> and possibly <laughs> under the influence of something. Dude, what? Yeah, I didn't hear man. about this. What are you yeah. what? TMZ has a video of Russell pounding his fists in anger and screaming <laughs> maniacally. <laughs> I, I I'm just reading what I see. Oh I, it could God. be fake. I didn't it could know be that fake. that was I didn't know. I thought you just made that up. I thought you were doing like no. the best. What? Dude, <laughs> what? What dude, did I, make? I, I thought you were making like the, the like the funniest like Norm McDonald-esque <laughs> kind of bit where it was just like <laughs> <laughs> you know you know that oh, like man. clip of norm Macdonald where he was like he was like i was walking through blood and bones on 9 11 yeah. looking for my brother he was, he was in northern, northern canada, canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i, I love no oh hello jambo oh that's no biggie that's really biggie. really fucking funny i what a way to celebrate you know and uh, and uh, uh, I, I do kind of find myself waking up in weird places in L.A., though, whenever I get a 1 out of 10 on a YouTube video, though. So I definitely relate to that um, just in a stupor. Um, okay, so are we, we're talking about 2012, though? We're talking about, we're so, talking about Mayan calendar explosion. You could talk about that. I think there's like an overarching theme with all of them and it's like let's say you can get past the initial oh you're just gonna school. cover all all the all the apocalypses in one swoop they all i mean they all fit into the singular name that is true so let's say you know you get but I, want the, I want specific apocalypses i want you fucking asshole how dare you i'm your boss i'll fire you in a moment's notice ah well, let me get this question out, and if you don't like it, yeah. you can dismiss yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I will. If you can get past the initial nuclear blast, societal collapse, like the first month of chaos and fun, sure, and this you get, yeah, you're like, let's say you're the you're in the final ten percent of humans that make it through the initial chaos, and things are kind of done. Do you think from that point on you'd be able to survive? Like, you don't have to worry about zombies. You don't have to worry about explosions. Just other people and like actually having to, you know, use the resources around you to live. If there's anything I've learned from thousands of hours of playing DayZ, it is that I don't want to live in a world where people are forced to act like that. Because you think, dude, back in 2013, I was playing DayZ on. On a uh, on an iMac that was running boot camp, so it was the shittiest. I had to play the game in like 360p, um, and this was a, a rough time for me. I was having trouble making friends, and so I turned to DayZ and the player base to kind of uh, you know find people to relate to. I met this kid who was around my age, who uh, was also new to the game. And for about a week, we, we, uh, we added each other on Skype. You know, we did the whole nine yards. We, we teamed up. We set times to play with each other. Um, wow. And about a week after meeting this kid and becoming really good friends with him, <laughs> we were logging out of Day Z. We went to the top of the building. Um, oh. We were the most kitted we'd ever been. <laughs> we both had assault rifles and shit. I had a Mosin. 
Um, and I remember logging off. And I'm like, all right, man, I'll see you tomorrow. And he goes, yep, see you tomorrow. I close everything. And then all of a sudden, his name disappears on Skype. Oh, my God. This, this fucking kid, Ted, blocked me on Skype after a week of talking to me for hours and hours a day. <laughs> There's a thing in Daisy where when you log out, there's a 30 second delay so that you can't just alt F4 in a firefight uh, and your character disappears. So your character sits down after you log out. He didn't log out. He yeah. waited for me to log out. And he fucking shot you dead he and shot, took everything you own. He shot my character. He took all my gear and he blocked me on Skype. After seven days of us being like, what that I thought was good friends. The that's psych is, it, is that not psychotic? It's psychotic. It's psychotic, it's psychotic, but that is the greatest social engineering scheme that I have ever heard. That person Dude. is gonna that person's probably they're probably in local government right now, and you and you're gonna <laughs> and you're gonna you're yeah. gonna and you're gonna hear his voice coming out of the TV at one point. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? That's the kid that killed me in Daisy. What the hell? He's a fucking senator. <laughs> exactly. And dude, like for a Mosin. You can, like, you, like that's not even a like we went through multiple oh, lives together oh my god he was like talking on <laughs> skype over the summer dude, of 2013 were, dude your character was fucking like groomed in daisy your character was groomed into a good a good fucking build and then you and then you were it's stolen in, it, away i that was the most betrayed i'd ever felt and to be honest wow i kind of respected it after that i was like Fuck, man, that that takes a lot of commitment, dude. It does. Holy crap! And if people are gonna act like that in the apocalypse, I don't want to be hanging out with the last ten percent because those are the fucking scoundrels of the earth who will do anything it takes to get by. That and is, they'll kill you. They'll kill you over one meal. They'll kill you over a can of beans. That is one can. Crazy. That is the. I mean, that's awesome though. And that's why I love DayZ. Dude, imagine, like, I bet he's part of a larger group. Like, imagine if, like, how old was he? Was he the same age as you? We were probably both 13. Yeah? Dude, you know what I bet? Because you started the story with, like, oh, you're both new to Daisy, right? Mm -hmm. He wasn't new to Daisy. He definitely he wasn't was new to Daisy. New. He had a group. Definitely was. He had a new. group. And then they, at the beginning of the week, they said, all right, team, we're all going to, we're all going to find a noob. We're gonna find yep. a naked, and we a are baby. go, and we're going to bring them up, and we're gonna spend the whole week doing this, and we're gonna get a lot of good stuff because we've only, you know, we need someone to, we need some extra good shit. Then at the end of the week, just say the word, and we will all kill our partners and take all their stuff Dude, back to base. It's you know what it, it it kind of feels reminiscent of like two B two T in a way where you hate new players so much yeah. that you'll do anything it takes. And in Day Z, it just so happens that building a week long bond with someone on Skype, like a personal con connection, like that I knew, wild. I knew things, I knew things about this kid. Like we were friends enough to identify him. No, no, definitely not. But track him down. Imagine well, years later, not. years later, you you find this fucking kid. Well, honestly, you know what? If that if that kid is out there, you know. And he's watching YouTube or something. And he knows. He knows what he, the fuck and, he and, did. And he knows that Schlatt is who he is. And, and he recognizes him from this event. Somehow, on this Chuckle Sandwich subreddit or something, reach out in some way. And if, you're, and if your side of the story is good enough, we will interview you for that on the podcast. <laughs> Why the that fuck would, would I want to talk to him? Because it would be fucking funny as shit, dude. Are you evil, kidding me? Evil man. We'll do evil a, man. Dude, we'll do a fucking 60 minutes and everything with, with that guy. That'd be fucking Damn. fantastic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. That is a really... I've never heard that story before. That is a really funny oh. story. Wow. I've had yeah. nothing like that happen to me. That is like... Well, actually, there was a social engineering moment that, you know, Tucker was actually there for that... So Tucker and I and Moses and uh, maybe a couple other friends, but we don't, I don't know, we talk, we don't talk to him anymore. Um, we would play on this in Arma 3 and it was this 
server called Seal Team Sloth. And it was an Altus Life server. Altus Life is basically, it's like, it's like um, GTA RP, uh, RP is now, but in Altus. So like you could buy a car, you could get a job, you could sell drugs and make money. And there was also people who could apply to be cops and they would like try to stop people, yada, yada. And Altus is the map. Yeah. Al yeah. Altus is the map, which is like, uh, it's like a real, it's actually a real place in Greece. It's like an island in Greece, but. Um, Lemnos. Yeah. Lemnos. But we would play this server all the freaking time. It was like the best thing ever. And in a similar way to you, I would I didn't have a good CPU at the time. So I was playing at 18 FPS on my old oh. on my first computer that I had. It was mm -hmm. like I barely had any sort of and I would be running fraps too. Like I was making I was trying to make gaming videos at the time. So I'm running fraps on 18 <laughs> FPS in yep. Altus Life trying to make good videos. Um and Tucker, is there anything else you want to say to like clarify, like to, to describe this too? Oh, well, when you said you're getting 18 FPS because you had a bad computer, the people with the top end were getting about 22 FPS. Oh, you were getting 22? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was Arma 3. Yeah. On a public server. I mean, the FPS right. is basically <laughs> 25. <laughs> so... There was this one time on the server because we did we would fuck around with stuff and we would we would mess around with people and there was a lot of people that took shit really seriously and most of those people played the cops they were like the guys that would you oh, know get onto the server and be like be like Alpha One Two this is uh this is this is healthy fox I got a couple tangos coming down the road real fast real fast gonna be chasing them down over um, and occasionally on the server the server would restart and what that meant was that everyone would get respawned like not lose any other stuff but just get replaced in the main city of kavala um <laughs> so when you log back into the server it was just like this crowd of people and everyone's going off with their with their <laughs> their local voice chat and everyone's just like <laughs> and people are running around and shit um and so tucker and i we had a really funny idea that you know we get we're gonna wrangle these guys we're going to wrangle these guys because there was a police station in Kavala where all those mm -hmm. fucking suckers were working and shit. So we said to them, we're going to march on. I'm like yelling in the fucking voice chat. We're going to march on the police station. Everyone join me. We're going to march and we're going to fight against a fight, fight against their fucking like, like they're, them being a pieces of shit and stuff. So we're marching down this road singing chants and stuff and then tucker at one point says all right everyone on the count of three we're gonna run into the police station and then he says it <laughs> and then we've got fucking 40 players with us Damn. running like daisy style too because it's the same engine running yeah into this fucking police station everyone's like like die. and like you can see the cops they're like trying to figure out what the hell to do they're like D there's like i think it was like Tucker, what was that one guy that was like, don't go in there or something like that? Do you remember I that? No, but we still have the list of player names. The list. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's a different story. Yeah, there was a whole bit that we did where it was like, we're the dudes against fedoras. It was a whole time where it was like. We should we thought, honestly talk about this entire thing. Somehow. Yeah, it would be We could funny. talk about this for 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But basically how it went was everyone runs into this police station and we're just chanting stuff. We're yelling. The cops have no idea what to do until they finally solve the situation by having a fucking cop get a sniper rifle and go up on the ridge and start picking people off, just killing them because they can't even because there's like some guys that just have a pistol and they're like shooting the cops like we caused yeah. chaos on the server where cops were just getting killed. It was ridiculous. Um, and I actually do, I'll send you, it's an unlisted video on my channel. I actually still have a video of you it. You record, all right, yeah. Yeah, I can send it to oh, you. Oh, fuck. Um, Fraps recording. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. But that was you. So you did the engineering. It was. Honestly, honestly, it was probably the most successful like thing I've ever done in a video <laughs> game to this day of like just a, me as a random, just getting a bunch of people going like that. It was. Yeah. One of my fondest gaming memories, for sure. I'm sure Tucker could agree, too, that it was, like, one of the best moments. Yeah, that that and just the moments we had on that game mode. Yeah. One of my fondest online gaming moments of my entire life. Yeah. There's something so charming about the old uh, Bohemia yeah. 
engines. Like they're just so it's so clunky, but like <laughs> I don't know, something nice about them. I just remember the old Daisy quirks that uh, I kind of miss in a way. In a weird way, like not knowing if you're gonna die by going down this ladder. Like yeah. if your guy is just gonna just straight up just walk <laughs> off and do the animation as he. As or he it's like forward. you're driving a vehicle, and it's like, is this bump gonna send us? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vaulting that's over. still that's still they still haven't fixed that one. Cars are really tough, and vault vaulting though, vaulting over something or just the general height of a drop, biggest fucking like gamble yeah. of your life. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it looks like that's pretty much all the time we have for this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed and enjoyed listening to us talk about apocalypses and the, uh, maneuverability and viability of ramps. Um, it's a bad idea. I'm just going to say it's a a terrible idea. Thank you so much guys for listening. Make sure to follow us on Spotify. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple music, I don't know anything about Apple music, but give us five stars on all that shit and subscribe on YouTube. If you haven't and comment. Tell us what you want us to talk about when we've got duo episodes in the future. We love hearing you guys' topics. This this topic that we talked about today actually came from you guys saying you wanted us to talk about apocalypse shit more. So you guys are so smart. You guys yeah. are so smart and have such great insight. Yeah. But if the zombie apocalypse happens, I want to say probably all of you will perish immediately. See so. you guys later next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>